Hello and welcome to WMKC TV with me, Chris McCarthy. The last race of this round three is the Honda Cadet final and just look how many of them there is. 29 drivers entered for this one. Oh, and we've had three people go off, four people go off on the warm-up lap, but 43 in there. Uh, Charlie Knight. Oh, that, that was strange, wasn't it? Um, oh, what a, what a, a uh, already dramatic start to this race. Let's hope that they can get their positions back. But yeah, 29 entered. Let's run through the grid quickly for you. Oliver Clark starts pole. Canning is Tom Canning second. Miles App starts third. Harry Thompson starts fourth. Mark Kimber fifth. Dragon Pims at sixth. So it's all the usual suspects up the front. And um, yeah, at the last race to for this uh, for this third round. So here we go for the Honda Cadet final. They look too quick in my opinion. And yes, they are going to go. They're going to be sent back round again. So, yep, uh, full start. So they'll be going through the cut through. That will give those drivers who spun a chance to uh, get catch up again. And what what is Oliver Clark doing? He was supposed to go through the cut through there, and he he's gone straight on. So, oh dear, what's going to happen here? Well, he was supposed to go through the cut. We had this problem in Junior Max earlier, a similar sort of problem. And you can see the marshals there, they're going to tell them, look, we're going to have to go back round again because poor old Oliver Clark, putting all his effort in the heats, pulled it. And to see him lose that for a misunderstanding, shall we say, would be a great shame. So let's hope he can just get his position back. So we will have a third warm-up lap now uh, here. Yep, so yep, drivers just clearly being told there, back rounds. I think everyone's understood. You've got a few drivers weaving there, which doesn't really help warm the tyres in karting. Um, but, you know, probably just, uh, yeah, see it on F1 and think, do that in karting, but it doesn't really help that much. Best way to get heat to the tyres in karting is, of course, just to go around at race speed. So, so yeah, well, what a strange start we've had here. I uh, had a few of those dramas, warm-up lap dramas today. Uh, but, yeah, I think we're going to get underway this time. Oliver Clark from pole, Canning in second. Here at the Wilton Mill circuit, uh, Clark took fourth, a sixth, and a fifth in his heats. It was only a point uh, ahead of Canning and a, and a further point ahead of Apps. So, yeah, 29 drives, sure to beat a cracker. Look out for the likes of uh, Pegram coming through from 10th place. But here we go. Will we get away this time? You can see them. They look a lot more better bunched up to me this time. Oliver Clark even just saying the put, giving him the slow down. But here we go. We're, and we're away. And... Oliver Clark's made a mess of the start, hasn't he? Canning has come through around the outside. I think Clark's dropped to fourth position, but I think he'll gain one of those back. So Canning is your lead. Thompson's in second. Pinzett's in third, but he's now lost that third to Clark uh, in fifth place, I think, is Lloyd. But I'll have to just confirm that with you as we come down the hill now. And there's some moves going on there. Not too sure who we had uh, making moves. Uh, it's really hard to pick him out uh, when they're bunched up like that. So uh, there's Clark there. Penza it is who is in fourth place. 31 of Pegram. The one I said to the man I said to watch out for. He's come up from 10th on the grid. What a great star he's made. He's already into fifth into fifth place. The top five is slightly broken away here from the rest. As we come now to complete lap one. So Thompson pushing Canning all the way, isn't he? As we come into turn one now. I think that's Lloyd who I, I originally called in fifth. I believe he is the man in sixth place. So, uh, here we come up the hill now. You see Canning, Thompson just being pushed along there by Canning. So already we can I can see this race. It's going to be a cracker, five at the front. So let's try and pick out where Apps and Kimber have gone to because they are on the in, inside and would have been delayed by the slow starting Clark. So let's try and see where they have come out in all of this in... Uh, there's Kim. I think Kimber's running in about ninth position. Um, uh, Apps, I think. It, no, no so that's Apps in fifth. So he's overtaken Lloyd. He now runs in fifth. So he will be looking to close on this group ahead of him. We are not battling much at the moment, but any second now, it's just like a bomb waiting to just explode, isn't it? Uh, this battle is just going to explode. This race is just going to explode into life any lap soon. I can just feel it and watch any race on our WMKC TV courage it always happens in the Honda Cadet class and they look bunched up and here we go this is probably the start now Thompson makes a move for the lead gets through Clark goes through into second and uh, we had another move there for fourth place I believe pins it losing out to Thomas Pegram 
So come out there. Canning there, just looking over his shoulder just to see where Pegram is. Um, so now Thompson leads, Clark second, Canning third. There's Apps now in, in fifth place, uh, sixth place, sorry, with Lloyd just behind. Kimber is there in sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth place. So he will also be a man to watch out for, of course, the defending champion here to start at Wilton Mill track in this Honda Cadet class. So here we come into turn one now, Thompson. From there's Apps there in sixth place. Lloyd doing a great job. I've never seen Lloyd here before. Took a win in what he took a win in the final heat there, which would have given him some confidence coming into this final. But he's doing a great job, isn't he, for someone who uh, may have not been here many times before to be up keeping up with the British Open champion. So doing doing a great job. Here we come now. The top five are absolutely glued together, aren't they? See Clark there in second, getting his head down. Uh, just, just trying to get past Thompson. No moves as of yet. Coming into Chapman's. Coming to the boot. Will he have a go here? Looks like he's. Oh, he's not. I think Canning's had enough of waiting around for Clark to make the move and has decided he's going to come through himself. That's fair enough, isn't it? Canning probably feels he's the man to over. Better man to have a go at Thompson. Pins it there, just looking over his shoulder. Can now see the likes of Apps, Kimber, Lloyd all coming up to join the party. Here at the front, there's this stars in Wilton Mill uh, Honda Cadet race again, putting on, putting on a great show for us, aren't they? Uh, been great racing all throughout the third round today, and this is just a great way to end it off. Kimber there has become detached from that second group as we see a move for third place. Pegram going past Clark. Yeah, uh, Kimber just off the back of that group. I'm just trying to see who the other driver is in that group of three just behind. Uh, I think it might be Henry Laws. 32. No, it's Reeve. Nicholas Reeve. So he is in that uh, eighth place. So yeah, eight drivers in. And there's another move there. Apps makes his first move there. So Apps into fourth. Past uh, Drake and pins it. Lloyd's also come through and he's run wide. But pins it fighting straight back on Lloyd. Or can he? And I think Reeves attempted to go around the outside. There's Kimber there. He'll sh soon be on the back of this group. And he has gone around the outside, so brilliant driving there from Reeve. As now we have a group of nine here, all for the lead. Try and back, pick your winner out of this one. Be like trying to pick the winner of the Grand National, wouldn't it? So we come down the hill now. Thompson comes through, doing a great job, isn't he? Uh, you can just see them all looking over their shoulders there. Really great. I love watching the Honda Cadets, I must admit. Uh, all very, the most tactical, some of the most tactical racing in karting. Oh, as Nicholas Reeve took a trip to the grass there. Comes straight back on. Didn't seem to lose much time, did he? That might become his preferred racing line. As we see a move there from Apps now into fourth place. Making that move on Pegram. And Lloyd's followed him through. So Lloyd and Apps working together well at the moment. As a cat, uh, they now have a slight gap ahead of them to um, I think that is uh, it's Clark, of course it is. Yeah, it's Clark in third place. So they just need to start working together again to catch those up. But Asina, another move there. Pegram trying to make a move on Lloyd and they touch bumpers. Touch side pods, sorry. We come down the hill now. Top three are well away from the rest. Apps are in fourth. Kimber's made his first move, so he's starting to make positions up. Making that move on Reeve, it was. And we come into Chapman's now. Here they, here they go. Um, uh, Kimber there, just off the back of these. And Canning, will he make a move this time? No, he won't. So Thompson still leads. Perhaps they're, they're being signalled. Look, you're getting a gap from the guys in fourth. So let's just push away. Maybe that's what the mechanics will be signalling them. You'll just see the mechanics just stand to the right, just out of shot there. You'll just be able to see a fence. You'll probably pick it out there if you look closely. That's where the mechanics usually tend to stand. And they'll just be saying, look, work together. Because, you know, you've got a gap. And Clark will be uh, doing the same. But apps. British Open champion. It's, it's not British, It's not easy to become British Open champion. He's good at winning races when it counts. So let's not rule him out of this just yet. Um, as he's got... Uh, oh, and uh, Kimber's made another move there. So uh, Mark Kimber, another move. I think that was on Reeve. Yes, it was. So great driving there from the defending champion. We come through Chapman's now into the boot section. Here goes Canning for the lead. Canning takes the lead and there were some moves going on. Pegram there trying to make a move. Lloyd was side by side with someone. They're just out of shots. So we can't see really see what's going on. But Canning leads now. Thompson second. Clark third. We've got some drivers gone missing in the background there. I think 
Kimber. Kimber has gone missing. Oh, and there's Kimber there. Oh, looks in some discomfort, doesn't he? Uh, oh, I wonder if he's okay. I wonder if we'll see a red flag. But the top three all together. Uh, Canning, Kimber. So that's split the, the group behind with Kimber gone missing. And we have red flags. So, oh, I wonder if Kimber is okay. He did look. If you just tell, it's getting, you see the marshals running over. It's getting, looked, looked quite a worrying incident there. His reaction wasn't great at all. Looked and and some distress so some discomfort sorry uh let's just have a look now i'm sure the drivers will be stopped here on the back straight there all oh, the ambulance is needed to come out so oh it's uh let's hope it's just precautionary measures let's hope mark kimber is okay you can see he's still in his cart i think that's just his mechanic or his father running up to him there so let's hope he's okay you can see all the drivers looking over there Probably, Scott, this is getting uh, everyone around the circuit slightly worried here. Uh, but they will be taking their time with, yeah, you can just see everyone looking there. They're all racing drivers. We're all friends in the paddock. And seeing a fellow competitor off is never a good sign. And uh, I wonder if we that, that will be the end of the race. And, yeah, you can see the mechanics coming out. And that is going to be the race called. So the final results, that's a real... Shame, uh, what was a cracking race. Kimber just started to make some positions up as well before that happened. But that's going to be the race called, and I think no one will have any complaints with that. I think everyone was just hoping that Mark is okay. So the final results, uh, they will go back a lap. So despite Canning making that move, the results will look like this. Harry, uh, as, as from the end of lap seven, uh, yep, that's you can see the flag there. So Thompson takes victory, Canning second, Clark third. Apps 4th, Lloyd 5th, Pegram 6th, Pins at 7th, Kimber 8th, Reeve 9th, Young in 10th. And it was delivered to us a couple of days later. Mark Kimber was airlifted to the uh, hospital uh, from, and it was delivered to us that he suffered from a dislocated hip. So uh, very, very worrying there. And all we can say is everyone, uh, all the mechanics did a, and medics, mechanics, and marshals and medics did a great job with Mark Kimber there. And he was taken everything was done in the safest possible way and all we can say is everyone here from the wm people guys here who deliver you wmk ctv all of us here wish mark kimber a, a very speedy recovery of course a champion um was fighting it out like a true racing driver he is so we all wish him well and hope to see him back here racing soon and yeah i'm sure that they will be echoed by everyone around the wilton circuit uh, and that, unfortunately, uh, is the end of round three. And a very unfortunate ending, isn't it? But that is the end of round three. Uh, join us again on the twenty uh, on the 27th of April for round four. And we hope to see some good racing now. And we hope to see Mark Kimber back there too. I've been Chris McCarthy. Thank you for listening to all of our coverage. Do check out all of our racing. Descri subscribe to us on YouTube, WMKCTV. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you in April. Goodbye.